The Court of Appeal in Abuja has dismissed an appeal brought before it by the governorship candidates of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Titus Uba, challenging the election of Hyacinth Alea as the elected governor of Benue State. The appellate court in an unanimous judgment on Monday resolved all three issues formulated for determination against Uba and PDP for various reasons. Justice Onyekachi Aja OTC, who delivered the lead judgment, dismissed the allegations of non-qualifications made by Uba against the deputy governor. Samuel Ode, Justice OTC, held that the PDP governor natural candidates failed to establish forgery of INEC formed EC9 by Ode beyond reasonable doubts as required by law. Among others, the Court of Appeal said that the issue of non-qualifications are pre-election matters which can only be challenged at a federal high court and not at the governorship election petition tribunal as done by Uba. In the final analysis, Justice OTC held that the appeal of Uba against the judgment of Benue State Election Petition Tribunal, delivered on September 23rd, lacked merit and was dismissed. The court subsequently upheld the judgment on the tribunal and rejected the plea of Uba to void it and set it aside. Sam Ode reaffirmed his confidence while speaking to the press saying he was certain about the law. I, I am not surprised. I told you here a week ago that the appeal court will likely affirm the uh, judgments of the tribunal. I was confident about that because the principles of law on the issue of res judicata is already settled. Nothing can change about this. Benue State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Fidelis Miyim, shed light on the judgment as he describes it as great and rooted in the principle of law. He also stated some points made during the judgment. Five points, distinctions that my lords were able to make in the judgment. Number one, the court distinguished clearly the court ordered primary and the general primary. With, um, with emphasis that once it's a court-ordered primary election, the timing as scheduled by INEC or provided in the Electoral Act is deemed to have been overtaken by the order of court. So the challenge, one of the challenge of the PDP and their candidates that there was no uh, proper uh, primaries, the rerun primary was less than 180 days to the day of uh, election, has actually been overruled. So the issue of the court order primary and the general primary was firmly established by this court. Another issue that is very, very important for me to comment about is on the issue of the general notion that uh, the court pronounced that from EC9, the particulars of candidate, is a certificate. The court was able to go down, level to distinguish the issue that is the attestation that the Supreme Court says is a certificate, I mean, sorry, is the statement, confirmation by the aspirant, by the candidate, that the information he made in this form are nothing but the truth, that is a certificate and not the attestation, the signature uh, portion of that form, EC9, that is considered to be a certificate. The challenge in this RP, the UBA and PDP were challenging that form EC9, was a forged form to an extent that the signature of the deponent was forged. The court first and foremost found that there was no evidence to establish that allegation that the signature was forged. There was no any other form, EC9, for the court to look at it and compare to see whether there was a forgery actually. All the standard of proof laid, by, laid down by the law were not met. So the court first and foremost found that there was no proof of that. And secondly, that because the issue is not on the, I mean, it's on the attestation alone, there must be credible evidence to prove them. So that allegation of forgery, lauded by the People's Democratic Party in Benue with the intent to rubbish the integrity of the deputy governor, was clearly pronounced on that there was no forgery or proved by the uh, by the appellant so on the whole reporting from nigeria's state's capital soy bifa jack top accolade news